to wholesaler to bookstore to consumer model to the internet. Amazon's done a good job of taking the bookstore piece to the internet. But the author to agent to publisher to wholesaler piece is still in place, and the author is still not connected to his readers. But worse than that, when the author writes his book and takes it to a publisher, and this is according to the publisher's own data, they reject the book 19 out of 20 times. And that's the tip of the iceberg, because of course 19 out of 20 uh, rejections means that most intelligent people, I don't know about you guys, when I see that, that if I spend the next year writing the definitive book on playing golf in Raleigh, playing golf badly in Raleigh, um, and I take it to a publisher, I have a one in 20 chance of getting it published. Why would I even start writing such a book? And so that's the problem. So our, our thesis is that what we have to do is bring Adam Smith, bring free market concepts to the internet. So how do you allow anyone to publish anything on the internet in such a way that it doesn't, getting back to my old signal to noise ratio problem, it doesn't confuse the hell out of the buyers. You know, how do you, if you have the world's biggest bookstore and then you multiply that by 10, because anyone can publish anything, we're gonna have 20 times as many titles in there. Uh, how do you find the book you want in a infinite mass of books? And of course, this is where Facebook and Twitter and Web 2.0 kicks in. Because what they are doing is they're building tools that allow us to organize the signal to noise ratio. So why, how did you buy the latest book or the latest training course or the latest video that you bought? And the answer for almost all of us, and I would be happy to take questions because I'm sure there's some people that this is not true for, uh, is socially. We read books because someone told us to. Our, our family told us to, our colleagues at work told us to, our teacher told us to, someone told us to read that book. It is the tiny minority of books that we read because we read about it in the New York Times. Someone may have read about it in the New York Times and then told us, you know, they then read it and then told us to read it. But it, it's a social mechanism, how we choose the books we read. But our actual real world social mechanism is very inefficient because some of us are shy and we don't have many friends. Uh, and, uh, but even those of us who have a lot of friends, unlike my daughter Margot, have a limited bandwidth to keep tabs on all their friends. But tools like social networking tools on the internet can do all of that for you. So when you uh, are looking for a book, whether you use our We Read tool or the Goodreads tool, or, or there's a variety of other book uh, 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 tools out there, you can find the book you want by asking your friends on the internet. And if they don't know, their friend might know. And so these social uh, uh, book applications on, on Facebook, just as one example, although these things run on every other social site, uh, you simply go online and you don't actually have to ask your friend because your friend has already been using these tools. 